Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I am gonna talk to you about Lexivon tape measure I got for Christmas. It is a digital laser and tape measure all built into one. And I was just kind of curious to see how well it works and how accurate it is. So let's open up this box and see what's inside and check it out. Oh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you. Here we go. This is the Lexivon, oop, let's see what it says. Long distance measuring. Place the backside of the tape against any surface for precise inside laser measurements. So it's saying when we do our laser, the laser is going to measure from the back side of the tape measure. When we're measuring something, and for accuracy, we want to see how accurate this is. So we will use this piece of plywood as our accuracy measurer, okay, like so. And then we'll shoot a distance and see how far it goes and how accurate it is. We're gonna shoot it right onto this uh, piece of ASEC. Device automatically adds its length for your result. So it's adding three and three eighths inches, that's how wide this is, to the measurement from where the laser comes out of the tape. So it's telling us on the back in a nice little graphic how to do that. Measure from the back side of the tape measure. Roger that. Oh, and it's telling us to share this online. So we're doing that by making this YouTube video. All right, here's the directions and operation and battery installation and all that good stuff. So it's always good to read that, but let's check out the tape. So I'm just gonna pull the tape out. Obviously this is not quite industry standard thickness of tape. You're not gonna get that extended reach you're looking for or anything like that but it does have a lot of nice markings. So if you're not familiar, and this is a, a press to release tape measure. So for it to retract or press to retract, you have to hold in the button for it to retract. You're, it's not gonna retract on its own like most tape measures do. It actually has a little button here that you push. All right, and then after one foot, uh, it goes into a red, I don't know why it goes into red um, increments, but it does. So, in the first 12 inches, I, it has a pretty nice readout for as narrow as this tape is, which I kind of like. This, I think you could get used to, but probably not as easily read as these numbers are here. There's also something kind of nice for people that are newer to measuring. It has increments of eighth inch uh, on the tape. So it goes eighth inch, quarter inch, three eighths, half, five eighths, three quarters, and seven eighths are all indicated right here on the tape, which sometimes for uh, newer construction people, those come in really handy because you might say an inch and five eighths or 12 and five eighths, and they may end up cutting it at three eighths by accident because they're just not quite there with the fraction part of the tape. So, and we use a plus and minus system. So we never call out sixteenths. It's either plus a sixteenth or minus a sixteenth. So if we go 12 and 5 eighths plus, that's like saying 12 and 11 sixteenths, or 12 and 5 eighths minus, which would be 12 and 9 sixteenths. So it just avoids a lot of the, the micromanaging of the lengths when you just say plus or minus. Some people say strong and weak. Some There's all kinds of different codes. I can't decipher all of them. I'm just here to show you this really cool laser tape measure, okay? All right, so there's an on off button right here on the side of the tape. So to me, it looks like this tape is split into two, two parts. That's why this, this tape, uh, the actual tape is narrow because it takes up about half of the cavity of the tape measure. And then the other half of the cavity has the laser part of it and the on off button. So there's an on off button right here. And when I turn this on, there's the laser. Okay, you can see it on my jacket. Don't look at it. All right, so then there's a readout. So the readout right now, we've got a good battery. It's ready for us to extend the tape and it's gonna tell us the distance. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put the tape measure right at the back of this plywood and we're gonna get our first reading. We'll get the tape all the way to the back of the plywood and we have our, we see our laser dot. That's the distance we wanna check. Okay, we'll go ahead and square this up and then I will go ahead and I'll hit the on off button and it says, this one says four feet, two inches and 11, two and 11 sixteenths. Four feet, two and 11 sixteenths. Okay, let's see how accurate that is. I got four feet, two and five sixteenths. Hmm, we're off about 
a quarter inch. No, wait, no, more than that. We're out seven sixteenths. Okay, let's try again. Let's try again. Let's move it a little further away. We'll move it way down here and let's see what the tape says. Seven foot four and three eighths. Okay. So I'm gonna hook my tape right here. Seven foot four and three eighths. And I've got seven foot four and three sixteenths. So we're off about, unless, just to be fair, the dot was up here. No, it'd actually be less. <laughs> the laser is not accurate. Let's go back and go like within 12 inches. Let's see what we get. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put it at a foot, close as I can, okay, to be fair. And I'm gonna square this up. Okay, that should be 12 inches. So it's one foot three sixteenths, but we got one foot. Well, I wouldn't trust it for exact measurements. If you need to get within an inch of something, then this tape with this laser would be great. Uh, the actual readout for the tape is 16 feet, but um, it says it'll go 130 feet with the laser. So uh, if you need something just to get a rough estimate, it can get you within an inch which is great, but if you need something, a laser for laser accuracy, dead on accuracy, probably wouldn't use the Lexavon tape. So uh, one last thing, let's just shoot it over to that fence over there. Okay, let's see if we can find the laser dot. This display is a little hard to read outside. I think this tape would do better indoors than outdoors. And I, I wouldn't even imagine this tape works in the rain, okay? Um, it says it's 35 feet, 10 inches to the back of the tape. Okay, 35 feet, 10. So let's just see how close we are. Okay, there's 25 feet. Okay, let go. I'm like 35 feet, 10. So I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a longer tape and we're gonna do this and see if we can be a little more accurate and see how really close we are to that distance. Watch, your, watch where you step to over here is poop everywhere. Okay, you ready? I'm like 35, 10 and a quarter. So that's pretty impressive. Depending on how tight I pull the tape measure. On a further distance, it's more accurate. Could be that this table has a small cup in it too, but I still think that the short distances, it's not as accurate as the long distance, but I'm kind of surprised how accurate the long distance was. So I think that if I had to figure out, hey, how many feet of railing do we need on this run? I might be able to figure that out. Um, and well, let's do one more test. Uh, let's go over here. And I know that this run of railing is close to 66 feet. So if I just needed to rough in, I'm gonna shoot a laser from the edge of this deck, 66 feet down to that post down there. And let's just say how, see how close it is. It's gonna be in that 66 foot range because it's hard to, is it on it still? No, it's gonna be really hard. This is impossible. I could have had the measurement by now. It's so hard to keep the laser focused on a little, there it is. Okay, I got my laser dot on that post. Now I wanna know how far away we are. 66 feet, and that's what, that's about the distance, so that's pretty good. So I would say this is good for longer distances, more than short distances. But, um, I mean, this deck I know is about 16 feet, from the here to the house and that would be a much quicker figure out there's a laser 16 feet one inch one and oh wait one and three eighths so wow it's within an eighth inch that's not bad all right so i'm sticking to my guns on this one and saying the lexivon tape is good for longer measurements not so much for the short runs, but it's pretty accurate. Like if you're measuring inside walls of a house, this, this would work pretty good for that. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon if you wanna be notified when we're putting out new content. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.